Change in temperature in the surroundings of equilibrium reactions affects exothermic and endothermic reactions differently, causing them to shift left or right out of equilibrium depending on the temperature change. This can be the trickiest of all Le Chatelier's principles, but we have a trick for it. If an equilibrium reaction is labeled as exothermic or has a negative delta H or is described as releasing, producing, or yielding heat or energy or is increasing the temperature of the surroundings, that means forward reaction is exothermic and heat slash energy is a product. The trick is to consider heat or energy a product for exothermic reactions. And just like with concentrations of products per Le Chatelier's principles, saying if product concentration increases, the reaction will shift left toward reactants, it's the same for if heat continues to increase, or if the temperature of the environment is increased even more. The reaction will shift to the left toward reactants, meaning reverse reaction will be favored and occur. But if heat is decreased by decreasing the surrounding temperature of the reaction environment, the reaction will shift to the right toward products, meaning forward reaction will be favored and occur. Basically, decreasing the temperature is removing heat from the surroundings, increasing its capacity for more heat to be produced. So, for exothermic reactions, decreasing temperature will shift reaction to the right, and increasing temperature will shift reaction to the left. If an equilibrium reaction is labeled as endothermic or has a positive delta H or is described as absorbing heat or energy or is decreasing the temperature of the surroundings, that means forward reaction is endothermic and heat or energy is a reactant. The trick is to consider heat or energy a reactant for endothermic reactions. And just like with concentrations of reactants per Le Chatelier's principles, saying if reactant concentration decreases, the reaction will shift left toward reactants. It's the same for if heat continues to decrease or if the temperature of the environment is decreased even more. The reaction will shift to the left toward reactants, meaning reverse reaction will be favored and occur. But if heat is increased by increasing the surrounding temperature of the reaction environment, the reaction will shift to the right toward products, meaning forward reaction will be favored and occur. Basically, increasing the temperature is fueling or catalyzing the reaction with heat. So, for endothermic reactions, increasing the temperature will shift reaction to the right, and decreasing temperature will shift reaction to the left. Simple as that. Thank <laughs> you.